Hi everyone, I'm Yawar Charlie and welcome to the American Dream. I'm so excited today to give you my love letter to Hollywood. Hollywood is a town that was established around one industry, the movies. And I'm standing in front of the iconic Paramount Studios. Established in the late 20s, by 1925, Paramount was the biggest studio in the world. And the area all around me was developed for housing for Paramount's talent. And today, I get to show you one of the oldest bungalows in Hollywood. So get ready for your Hollywood adventure with me. Come on. Welcome to the Jewel of Melrose. Built in 1921, this property was developed by Paramount Studios to house their various talent, actors, directors, writers. And today, we're lucky enough to house some of Hollywood's most creative minds. So everyone, I'm really excited because we are sitting down with writer, producer, editor, women's activist, Acer Salman. She just wrote a wonderful book, um, Seat at the End of the Table, and it's like 18 other words. Which it's, I it's, yeah, it's, it's a very non-descriptive title. <laughs> it's called The Wrong End of the Table, a mostly comic memoir of a Muslim Arab American woman just trying to fit in. Right, so. so say that five times really fast, <laughs> folks. But tell me a little bit about the book and how you got to what was the inspiration? It's something that I wish had existed when I was growing up. I mm -hmm. was born in Iraq. I grew up in Kentucky. So right there. Right there is, yeah. is, is enough material. It, right. I think. And and I never felt like I fit in and, and I didn't fit in, you know, and I all I wanted to be was, you know, a blonde girl named Paige. Right. So I just thought this is, you know, this is it's time for me to, you know, basically to tell my story in hopes that um, maybe somebody, if there was somebody out there, like mm -hmm. a young me. Absolutely, and I think what you just touched on something which is really important, which is representation. Mm -hmm. So what what drew you here? Because just like you said, there aren't a lot of people who, I'm assuming at the time you came to Hollywood, that mm -hmm. like looked like you, that had your voice, right. um, that had your perspective. What brought you to Hollywood and what got you interested in entertainment? So when I was in, uh, when I grew up in Kentucky and I went to journalist, journalism school, and my parents were like, oh, you can be Christian Amanpour, okay, great, you know. <laughs> so um, I, I majored in journalism and then I realized I don't want to report the news, I want to make up stories. Mm -hmm. So I came out to film school and I just, I fell into, it was right around the time of the DVD revolution or, you know, that explosion mm -hmm. um, where people were buying DVDs and then like getting the, um, you know, you, you, you get the DVD for the movie or whatever, and then there's, oh, here's what's happening behind the scenes kind of thing. Yeah. And, you know, and so um, I started I working for Miramax. I mean, you've worked on such interesting projects. I saw that you were working on um, some of the Ryan Murphy projects. Yeah. Yes, uh, I am and lucky to fall into the Ryan Murphy camp, and I'm doing, I, I did Pose, I did the behind the scenes, yeah, the I featurettes contents. With Pose, it was, um, it was featuring the real people that played the characters and so that was even more interesting because a lot of times you know these things they are the purpose is for marketing obviously but it's so much more fun when you can do something that is here's the story of the real life person mm -hmm. i find it so interesting to listen to people's stories as to why they came here and mm -hmm. did that evolve did that change so I'm going to ask you, what is your advice to someone who wants to come out to Hollywood? Know the story you want to tell and there's no way anyone can stop you from telling that story. Right. And writing a book was the best thing I've ever done in my life. It was so great for personal reasons, it was so great and that it helped me with my craft. I can't believe I just called it craft. I don't but like it is people, a, but it is I know, a craft. but I hate when people call it that. It just sounds so <laughs> self-important. Well listen, I remember when um, when I came here, I was so fascinated by the layers of stories because this this town has so much history. Mm -hmm. And this area in particular, one of the reasons I wanted to interview mm -hmm. you here is because this was one of the original plots that were developed by Paramount for their talent. What is next for you? Does this book get turned into a movie? Is there another book? So I'm working on turning the book into a, a TV uh, uh, sitcom. Oh, that's so, so great. Yeah. I would definitely watch it because Thanks. I think you're really talented. Well, I think you have you. a very unique voice and it's a voice that needs to be heard because it's not something that gets represented. So I wish you all the success in the well, world. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, this thank has you been for coming. a pleasure. Well, everyone, I'm so happy that I was able to share with you my love letter to Hollywood. 
Very rarely is a town built around one industry, but Hollywood is that. The movie industry brought this community alive and it brought the housing market to the forefront. And I'm so happy that I was able to share a little bit of Hollywood history with you today. I'm Yawar Charlie. You can find me at Yawar Charlie on Instagram. And this is the American Dream.